That man is a rising young star for the Parti Québécois. Léo bureau Blouin was part of the PQ election victory on Tuesday. The former student leader is so young, it was the first time he could even vote. We spent election day by his side and intended to show you the story last night. But the deadly shooting at the PQ victory party overtook that plan. Still, this is someone you may be hearing from a lot. So here's our Joanna Romeliotis with a look at Leo Rising. In these parts, it's called Leomania. <laughs> from autographs on hastily produced grocery receipts to endless requests for photos, so many seem, well, so bedazzled by Quebec's boy wonder. What is it about Leo that you think is so good? Well, it's cute. The telegenic student leader turned political sensation is only 20 years old. But Léo Bureau-Bloin is already a household name in Quebec. Comes in handy when you're a neophyte running for the Parti Québécois in a crucial suburban riding that's voted Liberal for nearly a decade. Uh, people have always the image of politicians, you know, the old uh, white uh, guy, uh, you know, that is always saying the same thing. And I think it's important to break a little bit this, uh, this, this figure of, of politics. Bureau Blouin exploded on the scene during Quebec's student crisis this spring, emerging as a voice of calm and compromise in the sometimes violent protest against tuition fee hikes. At the height of it, a poll found that he had the highest approval rating of anyone involved. A wave of popularity he's only too happy to ride now, but the kind his rivals snipe that belongs on reality TV. Bureau Blouin ran into Alain Paquette, the liberal incumbent in this riding in Laval, on the final day of campaigning. There is two campaigns. There is the election idol mania campaign that some people would like to play, but people in my riding, they don't want to start. They are, are, are supposed a pseudo star, they, and no matter which party they are from, what they want is people who can serve them, and that's what I do, and I offer. Regardless of what kind of celebrity he is or how well liked he is, he's a, he's a lifesaver. He's amazing. Bureau Blouin represents a party that vows to resurrect its sovereignist agenda, something many voters simply don't trust. What you are with your own party, eh? Yeah, but uh, no, I'm not going to vote for him. Party Quebecois, they want only French. Most people they speak English. Most people they deal with English. Even the Quebecois, they work with English now. Uh, Anglophone people are really scared about sovereignty because they feel scared and maybe just not like that interested either. Most polls suggest sovereignty is low on most Quebecers' list of priorities. I'm not saying that all Quebecers want to hear about sovereignty, but there's still an important part of the society that wants to talk about it. The PQ party brass is well aware any future of an independent Quebec lies with younger francophone voters who, like the student crisis proved, can trigger political change. Bureau Blouin says it's what turned him from an anti-establishment leader to a rising political star. I'd like to show that you can, yes, you can protest, but you can also take power and make things change with the democratic troops. But Bureau Blouin openly admits he doesn't know much about politics. In fact, this is the first time he's voted in a provincial election. He was too young the last time. So how did it feel? Good, good. Uh, it, the choice was pretty easy. <laughs> but this riding was not a slam dunk. The race promised to be close, close enough to make his mom nervous too. I was anxious uh, at the beginning of the, well, all, all the month, but tonight I'm just, well, well. And as the polls closed and results trickled in, it began to sink in. How much was at stake? Uh, stress, yes, yeah, stress a lot for a moment, but, uh, but still I'm, I feel good. You know, it's, uh, we, we did what we had to do, the, the, the speeches are ready, so win or lose, so just sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> Bureau Blouin did win, with about 38% of the popular vote in his riding. <laughs> Winning a critical seat for a minority PQ government and making him the youngest ever member of Quebec's National Assembly. Regardless of your age, regardless of your ethnic origin, regardless of your political conviction, you can bring your ideas uh, very far into the democratic society.
How far his ideas will take him, how far Leomania will take the party too, that's a political gamble. But Bureau Blouin has already delivered a critical victory to the PQ. And for now, that's enough. Ioana Rumeliotis, CBC News, Laval, Quebec.